friends, this video on air and water pollution part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Four, you are a member of municipal body of your town. Make a list of measures that would help your town to ensure the supply of clean water to its residents. So what can you do or what can a, a somebody who is a member of municipal body can do? Sewage treatment plants to be set up in the area to prevent disposal of untreated sewage into water bodies. The sewage treatment plant is very much important because it will make the sewage less toxic. Water should be treated in water treatment plants so that the water is purified so that you get clean water for drinking. Wastage of water to be checked. So how can the wastage of water be checked by ensuring that all the water pipelines are perfectly fine. There are no leakage so that water should not leak out and get wasted. So these are some of the things which should primarily be taken care to ensure that the water supply to the residential areas are all clean. Question number five, explain the differences between pure air and polluted air. So they are just opposite to each other. So pure air will contain gases in the right amount. For example, it will have nitrogen 78% approx, oxygen 21%, carbon dioxide 0.03%, other gases in trace amount. So pure air will have it in the right amount, but polluted air will have it in incorrect amount. For example, if the air is polluted, it might have more amount of carbon dioxide, which will increase greenhouse effect and it will cause pollution. It might also have increased amount of carbon monoxide. Basically, in this case, it will have more amount of the poisonous gases like carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, sulfur oxide, sulfur dioxide. So all these harmful gases will be present in more amount. In pure air, there are no harmful gases present in excess. Now, in trace amounts, it might be present. For example, in, uh, in pure air also, you have methane, which is present in extremely small amount. But in polluted air, it might be present in larger amount. And that's how it can contribute to greenhouse effect and impact the environment. Pure air is not harmful for living organisms. Instead, it is required for living organisms for their survival. But polluted air is harmful and it can cause diseases. Especially, it causes a lot of respiratory diseases because animals breathe in polluted air. Question number six. Which of the following is not a greenhouse gas? Carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, methane, nitrogen. Now primarily carbon dioxide and methane, they are the most important greenhouse gas. Even sulfur dioxide also acts as a greenhouse gas. That is, it is also capable of absorbing uh, the infrared radiation. But nitrogen is not a greenhouse gas. So this would be the correct answer. Question number seven. Describe the threat to the beauty of the Taj Mahal. So I, we already discussed it some time back, right? Like if you look at the Taj Mahal, it is made up of marble and marble is, what is marble? Marble is nothing but calcium carbonate. So these type of rocks, they are very easily susceptible to uh, get corroded by acid rain. So it is made up of calcium carbonate, they react easily with acids and from where do these acids come? The nearby factories and the industries which are located in Agra, they release a lot of sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides into the atmosphere. So these sulfur and nitrogen oxides, they react easily or they combine easily with the tiny particles of water present in the atmosphere to form acids like sulfuric acid and nitric acid. And these acids, they remain in the clouds and when those clouds fall as rain, that constitutes acid rain. So this acid rain when falls on this marble, so the marble that is calcium carbonate, it reacts easily with these acids present in the acid rain and this causes corrosion. So as I said, industrial emission contain oxides of nitrogen and sulfur which react with particles in air to form nitric and sulfuric acid. And this results in acid rain 
and this corrodes the marble and as a result it gradually turns blackish in color and that's why you see that the, the way Taj Mahal looks today and the way it used to look some 20 years back there is a lot of difference earlier it used to be white and bright and now it has become little blackish and dull question number eight why does the increased level of nutrients in the water affect the survival of aquatic organisms that's because if the nutrients level increases, this supports the growth of algae. So what happens is a lot of algae starts growing and this results in algal bloom. So algae covers the entire surface of the water body. So as a result, so algae will start competing with the other aquatic organisms. So that means also the aquatic organisms will suffer. Now, even after these algae die, then also the aquatic organisms will suffer because even when they die, the process of decomposition starts. So firstly, presence of algal bloom will also kill many aquatic animals. Even after the death of these algae, the, it has to be followed by decomposition and the process of decomposition no matter what whenever it takes place in water it will lead to scarcity of oxygen because the process of decomposition needs oxygen so when decomposition happens a lot of oxygen get used up it utilizes all the oxygen so there is scarcity of oxygen in water and this scarcity of oxygen will cause death and this scarcity of oxygen will result in death of the aquatic life. So the algal bloom in both ways will harm aquatic life. As long as the algal bloom is present, that time also it will block and it will produce toxic substances and that's how it will kill aquatic animals. When the algae die, that time also due to decomposition process, all the oxygen will be utilized and due to lack of oxygen, the aquatic life forms will die. So with this, we have reached towards the end of this lesson on air and water pollution. And I hope that this lesson would have helped you. So please go through the concepts and also please try to follow these so that all of us can contribute to a greener environment, a better environment and a healthier environment. So see you all in the next lesson. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.